welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Well, me, my name is Mike. <laughs> hey, did you hear the one about the guy who got boob implants to win a $100,000 bet? No, Steve, how's the rest of that joke go? It's not a joke, Mike. A yeah, guy really did that. Look. My name is Brian, and these are my $100,000 boobs. Boom, boom. Oh. Yeah. Just not used to seeing that much hair around boobs. The man's name is Brian Zembic, and he was featured on the latest episode of the TV program Botched. Now, according to Zembic, sometime around 1997-ish, it's hazy, he was having dinner with his gambler slash sadist friends when one of them bet him $100,000 that he wouldn't get breast implants. D well, did he do it? Did you, did you not see the clip? Yes, he did it and he collected his $100,000 and has had his boobies ever since. Wow, what a Cinderella story. That, that's not what happens in that. Definitely not. Well, I'm glad at least now we have this terrifying guyf at our disposal forever. Check it out. I can't wait to send it to my dad. Oh, I hate this story. Two tarantulas were found aboard a plane, making its way to Montreal, Canada from Putacana in the Dominican Republic where they probably boarded without anyone noticing. Hey, you all right, buddy? Yeah, just let me do it so it's over fast. According to Jezebel, the spiders were between 10 and 20 centimeters long, were between four and eight inches long, big. Hey, you gonna make it, Mike? Is this story too much for you? Shh, shut okay. up and I hate it. This dynamic duo was said to have not have been discovered until the very end of the four hour, four hour flight, and I hate it. Well, uh, wow, so realistically, they were probably just hanging out in the cabin during the entire flight. That's crazy, right? Hey, Mike, say the part about when they started crawling on people. Uh, no, no, and they were crawling on people, and one man was given first aid after the spider crawled on his fucking leg. Yeah, that is so much worse than snakes and turbulence. That's very, that's very much worse than those things. Yeah, if, that, if I had a spider on my leg in a plane, everyone around me would get knocked out by my flailing man arms. Dude, if I have a spider on my leg in the woods, I'm flipping out. And that's where spiders are from, where they come from. I hope everyone on the plane is ready for the eventual day when a spider is on me in a plane because all of my clothes are coming off instantly. According to CNN, college enrollment peaked around 2010 with about 21 million students all eager to learn and spend most of their money while doing it. However, college enrollment has slowly decreased and what's to blame? Now some say this is happening because the economy is slowly improving and when that happens, people tend to find jobs instead of pursuing additional degrees. Now personally, I think it's because Snapchat just added that new smartness filter and that's free. Dude, I don't care if you have up to two smartness filters on you at all times. That's just not gonna help you in the real world. Community college, for example, is a great equalizer because it allows students from lower income homes to make a decent living upon graduating. But without any help from financial aid, the high price of tuition makes it super easy to give up on the fight before it even begins. So what do we do about higher education? Steve, I'm asking you, an internet comedian. Well, that's very flattering, Mike. Well, first I'd say there's a million ways to qualify for financial aid, so make sure you leave no stone unturned. Next, I'd say, I have no idea. How very honest of you, Steve, and I'm sorry I asked. Gracias, Mikael. Now, college grads make about double what you can make with just a high school diploma alone. So there are benefits for sure, like that money thing I just said. But you'll need to make at least that much in order to pay off your student loans. Oh, well, shit. Wait, what if there were three smartness filters? Go to hell, Mike. <laughs> hey, you know those Fitbit tracker things that you wear on your wrist and they track all kinds of things, like how many steps you take a day or how your heart, heart box is doing? Well, it turns out those are probably very inaccurate. Yeah, actually, to the point of a class action lawsuit against Fitbit following a new study from researchers at California California State Polytechnic University who say they're really very inaccurate. Now the researchers ran all sorts of tests on 43 healthy adults using the Fitbit's Pure Pulse heart rate monitors and the company's surge watches and the charge HR bands on each wrist. Now after all that stuff Mike just said that makes little to no sense, the researchers then hooked the subject up to real science stuff that produced an ECG or electrocardiogram to record the heart's rhythm against Fitbit stuff. You hear that? Real science stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Comparative results from doing all kinds of exercises like jump em jacks and jog along show that the Fitbits miscalculated heart rates up to 20 beats per minute on average during these intense workouts. Now here to comment on the actual scientific data found in this study is world renowned doctor Noel Doy. Now, hi doctor, I uh, just a couple of quick questions. Uh, so it turns out these Fitbit things are totally BS, huh? No, 
Noel Doy. Thanks so much for coming, Doctor. Always a pleasure to have Noel Doy in the office. Oh, I love that Noel Doy. He just tells it like it is. He certainly does. Also, he only says his name. He's like that whole Noel Doy door man that I saw on HBO. So what do you guys think of today's stories? Now it's a question mark. Boobies on a man? Spiders on a plane? Is college not us or a yeah yeah? And hey, if you like what we're doing here at SourceFed, chances are you'll love what the folks over at D News are doing. They make new science news explainers every day of the week like this one. I think we should take everybody that lives in Massachusetts and give them a new hat. So go make sure to subscribe, and there's a link in the description if you're on one of those mobile devices that I've heard so much about. Heard of it? Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Steve, did you say your name yet? Yeah. I'm Mike Falzone. <laughs> for not knowing Do you know the 700 <laughs> names of characters on Game of Thrones. This is The Loop. <laughs>